Okay, this time we will look at the uh, counting inventory in Haiti Fox Online. So first of all, let me just show you how things look before we do any actual counting. So here I have a testing company in QuickBooks Online and I'm on the products and services page. So let me show what items I'm going, I'm going to be using as the example today. Uh, it's the pump right here, also the sprinkler heads and sprinkler pipes. So take note of the counts and we will review them later. And now let's also review the same items inside Haiti Fox Online under the quantity on hand viewer. They should be on the second page. And here they are. So you may notice I have an extra inventory site inside Haiti Fox which has 100 of the sprinkler heads. So the main site only has 410 to the total of 510 which is the same as what QuickBooks shows us currently. But today I'm only going to be counting inventory on the main side, so never mind this extra side. I just wanted to show where this quantity comes from. All right, and with that said, let's uh, look at the mobile app and actually try to count something. Okay, I'm now in the mobile app, so if I want to start a new inventory count, then from the main screen I will go to inventory and inventory counting. So it is all blank at the moment, it just lists all your items and their current quantities on hand. But I can pick up the scanner and start uh, scanning items and it will find the item you scan and increment its count every time you scan. And I can scan something else like so. And if you want to revert everything you've entered and start uh, from scratch, you can hit the clear button, which will basically reset uh, the counting session to a blank state and discard everything you have entered. But I'm not going to do that right now. And if you need to take a break and uh, return to the counting session later, you can do that by saving the progress by the save button. So now you can leave this screen and go do something else in inside handy fox or otherwise and then later return and the counting results will, sp will still be there so you'll you'll be able to add something else to this and of course uh, it will you know considering what how large the current counts are it will probably take me a long time to just scan them one by one so i'm going to just enter the counts by hand from the on-screen keyboard. So let's say the system currently thinks we have 302 pumps on hand, but we've only found, say, 298. I'm going to enter that. And we have, uh, the system thinks we have 410 sprinkler heads, but we've only found 408. And likewise, we have, uh, say, one less sprinkler pipe and you can see in the rightmost column you can see the quantity differences uh, compared to uh, compared to the current counts that are stored in the system so once you've done counting everything you were going to you can hit apply and this counting session uh, will be submitted for uh, for approval in the web interface so once you've finalized it, you can no longer do any edits to it or add any information or start a new count for that matter until this current count has been either approved or discarded. So let me not do that just yet. I just want to show one more feature. It's uh, this checkbox, complete inventory counting. So this is for when you want to do a complete count of every single item. Uh, what it does is basically resets uh, all the counts, all the quantities for all items to zero. So once you apply this counting session, uh, they will all be set to zero throughout the system unless you have entered new counts for them. So I'm not going to do that either right now. So I'm just going to apply this counting session. All right, now I can exit the screen and synchronize my device so the rest of the system and QuickBooks learns about the counts I've entered. So by default the 
counts you enter in the mobile app don't take effect immediately after you synchronize, they still have to be approved by someone who has access to the web part of HandyFox, which is what we're going to look at next. All right, I'm back to the desktop. So now on the dashboard, we can see that it's showing us a new unapproved counting session right here. So I can click view here, which will uh, take us to the counting sessions page where we can review and manage these counting sessions. So I can mark it and click view and you will see in a minute why you have to mark this checkbox before doing any actions with the counting session. So I'm going to click view and it's going to show me all three products that I've counted with the, with the current counts, new counts and the differences. So right here I can enter a reference number for this counting session if I want to and I can also uncheck some of these lines here and the new counts for corresponding items will be discarded. So this is how you can discard some of the counts that have something wrong with them. So let me uncheck this last line and apply everything else. So it's synchronizing data to QuickBooks and when it's done we will go and review uh, the new quantities on hand after this count was applied. All right, now let's look at the QH viewer in HandyFox first. All right, and uh, we can see that the two counts that we approved are here. Now let's look at QuickBooks. Let me, oh yeah, looks like these counts are already there. Sometimes you need to refresh the page. Yep. So 298 and 508, which is the same as the total across all sites in HandyFox. All right. And the last thing I want to talk about is how we can parallelize this process of counting inventory. That is to have uh, multiple people count different parts of your inventory from multiple devices concurrently. Because, for example, when uh, the same product occurs in more than one place uh, in the warehouse or whatever, how the system behaves then? Well, uh, it shouldn't be a problem as long as uh, you apply the counting results in a certain way. So to illustrate this, I've created two different inventory counts from two devices. And here they are on the screen. And let me first show each one individually. So uh, we have a total of 850 pieces currently. Uh, this user has counted 280 in the section that he did the count on. And the second user has counted 571. So if we were to apply uh, only the first count and then after that the second count, the second count would actually override the first count. But if we mark and apply them together, then the counts will actually add up. So you see here we uh, we have the total result of 851, which is actually even one piece more than what we thought we had. And now we can apply it. Okay, I think this is it for this video. So stay tuned for more and have a great day.